New Jersey implemented that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has to be the basis of all of our defensive tactics training in the police academy. That came about last year. People started to get a little nervous about it. It's just in the academy. There's not really much of that, you know, get back and back shit. And I said, well, hey, how am I going to do this? My agency has done defensive tactics training as part of our annual training for about six years. And if I'm being very transparent, it was always very uncomfortable for me because I really didn't know what I was doing. I'm very strong. I'm not exactly a petite woman, but I don't want to have to play dirty with my guys to win. I wanted to have the tools to look like I could handle myself, even though I know I could handle myself, but it's different when you're on the mat with your guys that you work with. Uh, New Jersey implements this, and the writing is on the wall. We're getting licensing coming January, and they're gonna start making it so defensive tactics is gonna be part of our mandatory annual training. So what I did was I went and I asked a company, New Jersey LEO Jiu Jitsu, to help the females in New Jersey, because I know for a fact we don't have the kind of experience that guys have. We, we don't really play football in numbers that you do. We don't wrestle in numbers the way you do. We don't necessarily know how to move people's bodies the way that we should. If I'm being honest, I really think that in instead of teaching shit in gym that we're really never gonna use, like this is what we should be doing. We should be teaching people do not be victims. That should be our role.